guys it is Arika Misha and today we are cooking some Bertoli chicken carbonara that is the Bertoli chicken carbonara chicken carbonara hope I'm saying that right anyway <laughs> all right and you guys can see I have three of them because actually they don't really give you that much in them let me see they give you like see like half a bag so for me and the girls you know and have some leftovers I gotta cook three of them things all right and also I have three cheese the Publix three cheese Texas toast so we're gonna have some garlic bread with it with the chicken cabanero it's so good y'all so good and let me read it to you real quick all right it says here grilled grilled white meat chicken with spaghetti, peas, and bacon, and a rich and creamy alfredo sauce. Look at that. Doesn't that look good, y'all? I know it do. I know it look good. Because it's good. Like a creamy alfredo, it's good. So, all right, let's get moving because this stove behind me is hot. Let me get y'all turned around to the stove. This pot is hot and ready. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hold on, my friends. Okay. Let me get y'all into the pot. Got the pot hot over there. The pot is ready. Make sure y'all got a... Okay, so let me get these open. Because, yo, oh, that pot is hot. Now, normally you cook these in a skillet. But since I'm doing three bags, of course, that's not going to fit in a skillet. So, this is so easy, guys. So easy. Yeah, my, yeah my, my pot's a little upset because I waited so long, but that's all right. Oh, calm down, Gotham, calm down. Oh, hush. I'm just going to dump all three bags in there. Okay, calm down, Gotham. Calm down, Gotham. I be tripping. Calm down. Calm down, child. All right, let me get the last bag in. And you guys will see all this. This is so simple. You just throw it. If you're doing one bag, you know you can put it in the skillet. Easy. Just throw it in the skillet. You ain't got to do nothing else. Just throw it in the skillet. And you see these chunks right here? These chunks, these that's the sauce. You know, like it's frozen into a square. But that's the sauce, it's gonna melt down. That's all these are, these are like chunks of sauce. And let me take y'all in so y'all can see better. Before, oh, y'all can see real good. Okay, see, let me take in, yep. So you see here, you see the noodles. You got your noodles, you got your peas, your bacon pieces. You got your chunks of chicken. They give you a really nice size chicken in there. Really nice size chicken. Take y'all in. And all this is going to do is just melt down. And these little, um, your little squares of sauce, they will melt down. That's your sauce. Of course, you got to stir it up. But, you know, I want to let it melt down some. Because I've got three bags in here. And I love how the noodles kind of come in this little pinwheel. They come in a little pinwheel, but they'll melt down. And I just take my top, put it on there like that. Voila, easy. And I just let it sit and let everything just melt down and simmer all together. Then I kind of taste it and see if I need to add a little salt, a little pepper. Y'all know me, I'm going to add, that's what I do. So, uh, I mean, these, they are flavorful, but not that flavorful. You know, I might, sometimes I'll add a little salt, add a little pepper, add a little garlic salt, add a little fresh garlic. Just depends on how I feel. But the uh, chicken carbonara with the alfredo sauce is really good. I usually only have to add a little salt to it, but. All right. So, you guys, see, let me bring it out. So, whoa, out. All right, so you guys see, I've got that top on there, and we're just gonna just sit and relax and let that just simmer itself all down, let the sauce melt, the noodles, everything's gonna all come together and melt together and blend together. And once it melts down a little bit, I'll come and stir it up some. I'll stir it up some. I'm gonna stir it up a little bit now. See if I can get it.
I usually don't stir it up that much. I just leave it alone, let everything melt, you know. You don't need to stir it. It's just pretty much, it's already done. You, it's just like they cooked it and they froze it. So, only thing you need to do is just let everything melt together. And see what happens? These little noodle pinwheels, they start to, you know, once the heat gets to them, they start to break up. And they become your noodles. I love these. I love the Bertolis. They're only like $8 at Publix. I love these. They're not expensive and they're so easy. Just put it in your skillet if you're doing one pack. Just throw it in your skillet, cover it up, and everything just melts together. That's all you gotta do. And of course, you know, you just kind of stir it up occasionally, you know, stir it up. But I really love the Bertoli meals. They're quick, they're easy. Just throw it in the pot, throw it in the skillet, put the top on it, let everything melt together. That's it, quick and easy. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and let that melt down. I'm going to go ahead and get that garlic bread in the oven. I've got my oven preheating the Publix Texas Toast, which is like garlic bread. Y'all know it's just garlic bread with the three cheeses. I love that. See, with the three cheeses on it. All right, let's see what we're doing. 425 degrees, easy, baking five to seven minutes. So let me go ahead and get that garlic bread in. And of course, once that's done, I'll show you guys as well. Um, Yeah, that's it, y'all. Quick dinner. Y'all can do this through the week. You can do it for Sunday dinner. You can do it Saturday dinner. Whatever you want. Whenever you want. It's quick and easy. My kind of meal. Alright guys. I'll be back. Okay guys. Just wanted to bring you back. You know. So you can check in and see how it's doing. How it's coming along. And as you can see. I just come in and stirred it. Um, just stirred it up occasionally. And as you can see. Our, our noodle wheels. They're starting to die down. They're all starting to open up. And I'm telling you guys, I I'm so serious. This is one of my favorite quick meals. I mean, it tastes good, but it really is quick. You just throw it in the skillet, throw it in the pot, that's it. And you just stir it up occasionally, you know, once everything starts melting together. And that's it. Let me show you guys. Show you guys those peas and those pieces of bacon. I'm talking pieces of bacon look at that they're not giving you no little bit of pieces of bacon they're giving you nice pieces of bacon see if i can get yeah you guys can see that nice big pieces of bacon nice chunks of chicken i like how they're not stingy with the chicken they give you nice you know nice chunks of chicken nice big pieces of bacon nice amount of peas we need our greens y'all know we need our greens me and the girls aren't big on greens but I definitely try to get them in there, you know. Make sure we take our vitamins every day because it's important. Greens are important. Greens are very important for the body. If you're not good, um, if your family's not big on greens, make sure you guys are taking your vitamins and all of that other stuff. You know, to help substitute for the green that you're missing. And look at that. After a while, it'll all everything will finish melting. I've got a couple of more noodle things in here but those little pinwheels those they will they will start to all melt together so we got a few more minutes i just wanted to come and show you guys how, how it's coming along how it's looking i mean a big difference from what we started from where we started a big difference and you know what i like how they give you quite a bit of green beans green green beans green peas my uh, little mama she loves green peas she does she loves green peas so, I'm happy it's got a lot of green peas in here for her. And let me taste this. Yeah, see, this is perfect. The only thing I need to do, and I'm going to go ahead and do it now while it's coming together. I do need to add a little salt. Just keeping it real. I do need to add a little salt. I'm going to add a little pepper. A little brown pepper in there. Not too much. A little salt goes a long way. You never have to over salt something. I'm telling you, a little salt goes a long way. And you see how it's starting to simmer now? And y'all know I gotta add my parsley. It's already got enough green, so I'm not gonna add too much parsley. It's got enough green. Now that everything's coming together, that's when I add my salt, I add my pepper. Any flavors that you wanna add, that's the best time to add them. When it's starting to simmer, that means everything is coming together. So you go ahead and add your sauces. 
so that everything can finish coming together. I stir in the middle and then I just work my way out and just kind of put it to the middle so that you know everything's getting stirred really, really well. Looks good guys. Look at that. It looks amazing. It really does. And it's really good. I mean that chicken and bacon together. Y'all already know. Chicken and bacon together. I don't know who created that but they were they're genius. That is such a great combination with the alfredo sauce and the peas. Great. Tastes so good. All right, y'all. So that's it for the chicken carbonara. You guys see it? That's it. That's all to it. It's done. It's hot. You guys see it's bubbling, bubbling. So that is done. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the garlic bread in the oven. I haven't done that yet. So let me go ahead and get the garlic bread in the oven. And then when I come back, you guys will see the finishing results. Okay guys, I figured I'd show you me prepping and getting scarlet bread together. This is the public scarlet bread. This is how it comes. You know, like in an already uh, pre-cut loaf. So I'm going to go ahead and get that open. Alright, and I'm going to put the cheese side up. Cheese side up. So that it doesn't stick. I love the public uh, three cheese bread. It's good. Nice and garlicky and cheesy. Goes, it's gonna go so good with this chicken carbonara. Once again, guys, this is quick meal. Nice, quick, simple, easy meal. Whoa, hold on y'all. Okay. All right, yeah, that's it to the garlic bread. Just put it on the pan. Y'all know I always line everything with aluminum foil. Helps with your cleanup. You know, helps make your cleanup easier. Look at those. They look so good. I can't wait to cook them. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get those in the oven, guys. I'll be bringing them out for y'all to see. Okay, guys. This is it. This is the finishing results. Let me take y'all in over to that three cheese, Publix three cheese bread. Got to take y'all in so y'all can see what I'm talking about. Mm, 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 mm. Should be ashamed before God to look that good. Yeah. Ooh, wee. Lord have mercy. All right, let's go on over here to the Bertoli chicken cabanero. Oh my God. Smoking over there. It's smoking. Y'all see the chicken, y'all see the bacon, y'all see the green peas, y'all see all that. The Alfredo looks so good. Well, Y'all seen me do it, so you know I did it. Cause you saw me do it. Saw me record it, so y'all know I did this. All right, guys, this is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, knowledge, I tell you all the time. Gotta know stuff. Knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.